Whilst working on this 90s transitional Vostok amphibia, aside from the thorough drenching of oil it's received in the past, the amount of shellac securing the pallet stones was so excessive, it was the first thing I noticed when the dial was removed. Notice the big blob of shellac on the entry pallet. It covers almost two thirds of the whole jewel. Now I'm not entirely sure if this in reality affects timekeeping as Vostoks are not really known for their amazing accuracy, but OCD kicked in and I decided I needed to be dealt with. So I removed the bulk of the old and prepared to reapply new shellac and that's when I hit upon a problem. I searched high and low but I could not find my pallet warmer. A pallet warmer allows you to heat up the pallets and shellac in a controlled manner so as to reduce the potential for damage by overheating. So I decided to make a new one. Now I'm not a machinist, but a pallet warmer is not really a complicated tool either. Here's some footage of me using a basic handmade pallet warmer in a video I uploaded back in 2015. So I need to heat my brass plate and for that I'm using a, a spirit lamp. Now it's not advisable to heat the uh, item uh, directly because it will get burnt and so what we do is we heat up the brass plate uh, so that uh, we can transfer that heat to the item, in this case a roller. And here's the shellac and what I'm doing here is I'm melting a little shellac and as I pull it away I'm creating a string. So as you can see, a pallet warmer is a very simple tool. My old version here is a piece of brass and I was using some tweezers to hold it and a small block of wood to protect my work surface. So I made a simple design using a piece of 1mm copper sheet and 8mm diameter piece of brass rod and an M4 screw to hold the pieces together and I started by cutting a piece of copper sheet to size. Now I'm a lazy git sometimes, so rather than spending a, an extra five minutes cleaning up the edges with a file, I decided to use the mill. And with the edges square, I need a hole for the pallet staff pivot to sit freely in and another hole for the screw. And rather than using tweezers with my old method, I decided to make a handle. I'm turning down uh, about a millimeter here so that I can mill a flat edge later. Now this particular step was not really needed, but I did it anyway. Mm. 
I decided I wanted knurling on the handle, but being a little bit dozy, I neglected to provide tailstock support and the knurling was awful as a result. But after rectifying my stupidity, it turned out a bit better and I decided to cut a few decorative features. Now I can cut the flat edge for the copper plate to be secured to. And with that done, I can drill and tap a hole for my screw. Now just before assembly, I cleaned the copper plate using some wet and dry. And now I can chuck it all together. So now I need a small wooden block for it. I found some hardwood in my local hardware store and I cut it to size. And I drilled a recess to receive the pallet warm handle. And as I'm crap with a chisel, <laughs> despite being a, a fan of Steve Ramsey's channel for the past five years, I decided to use a mill to make the recess for the copper plate. And that's it, ready for use. And guess what? I made another. 
and I'll be giving this away to a lucky winner, and details of this will be announced in my next video. And speaking of which, I will be demonstrating the use of this tool in my next video, which shows in detail how I restored the Vostok, and so make sure that you're subscribed, it's free, and if you hit the bell icon, then you'll be informed whenever I publish new content. Oh, and if you want to make one of these for yourself, you can download the plans for free from our Facebook group in the files section. There's a link in the description below this video. Or if you're a student on my watch repair course, then you can of course download from watchrepairlessons.com. And let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and thank you to all my patrons who've helped keep this channel alive. But that's it for now. See you soon.